Hey there guys, Zach here from Winbeta and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 Mobile build 10158. This is an emulator build which means it's available to the, well this build in particular is available to the public so developers or anybody who wants to try it out, you can do so from dev.windows.com. But yes, this is the new emulator build, build 10158, and uh, it's not that different from build 10149, but it does include a couple of additional features. So if we just dive straight in, uh, on the start screen you may notice that both Microsoft Edge and the new store app are no longer using the... Uh, using de like dedicated colors, they are now transparent to match the majority of the other apps on Windows Phone, minus the Xbox app. The Xbox app is still pretty green. But yes, Edge and Store app are using transparent tiles now, which is great, which would allow for, you know, greater customization with your start screen, I guess. All pretty good. Uh, the performance on, on the emulator is absurdly, absurdly well, good, I guess. I don't know how to, it's very good. Uh, something it's very surprising for an emulator as well because in the past emulators haven't really been smooth they've been very buggy and slow and other stuff but I one of the reasons why I think this is actually a lot better now is because if we come into the settings here and try to drag the window open you can see here PC settings use a desktop accelerated graphics so it's now using graphics to help out with the actual performance of the thing and it looks it feels great and it's all very smooth uh, of course this isn't an this isn't an actual piece of hardware this is running on an emulator for, on a desktop as you can see uh, this is the Dell XPS 13 Core i7 model which may actually explain why it's running so smooth but yes it's all pretty good now the music and photos app have been updated in this build oh that's not music that's movies uh, they have been updated slightly uh, with a new version, but they look pretty similar to look like on 10,149. If we go into settings here, you can see, if we go into about, sorry, there's the version number 3.6.10, sorry, 1084. Same for the photos app, which is somewhere. Where are you? Photos, photos, photos. Oh, there you are. Open up the photos. And again, if we go into settings, there's the version number there. So that's all pretty great. Of course, I'm using a touchscreen, but this build does also support a uh, keyboard and mouse input. So if I'm scrolling here, I can use the, hopefully, no, I can't. Okay, well, I can use a mouse. You may be able to see the mouse here and it works much like you would expect a mouse to work on Windows, but just on Windows Phone instead. Uh, the Wallet app is here and has been updated. Uh, let's see, Wallet looks very clean. You can go to store. Actually, I don't know if this link actually does anything. Let's use the new store. No, it doesn't actually work. So if we go back, we can go to my wallet and the app looks pretty great. So we can add a new wallet, maybe. No, okay, so you still can't work. It still doesn't work because the, usually with emulators, you'd need to sign into a Microsoft, uh, well, with Windows Phone, signing into a Microsoft account actually enables you to download apps and stuff. But as this is an emulator, you can't actually do that because Microsoft blocks it. So I can't actually demo any of the, you know, app updates and stuff because I need to sign into a Microsoft account and I actually can't do that with this build, unfortunately. I can try. Usually when I try, it doesn't work. So yeah, it says I haven't got an internet connection, even though I have. So we're going to um, Edge here and go to WinBeta. If I can spell it, .org. And press Enter. It should load up WinBeta just fine. So yes. Uh, we have internet. Uh, the volume slider is an interesting one. It has been updated. It's now using a different Voca, I guess. Looks a bit nicer, if you will. Now, I've seen many people claim that the People app is updated in this build as well, as you can see here. But this isn't actually... This is this happens in 10,149 as well, if you can actually get it to work. But it's working a lot more easier now, the tile I'm talking about. So you get the nice circles that move up and down. Looks pretty nice. Uh, nothing too spectacular. And finally, the, uh, one of the... Oh, have we crashed it? Oh, no. So we need to use your permission. No, thank you. So the camera app can now record at a very low frame rate. Or very high frame rate, sorry. I don't know how to set it up, though. Uh, settings? Maybe? 30 frames? It's got 30, 60, 90, and 120. So 
this is an so obviously this this is dependent on hardware but the emulator is obviously emulating hardware that could perform a video of 120 frames per second uh, but yes there's also digital visual uh, digital video stabilization which i don't think is new but that's all pretty much it for this build so yes nothing much new really everything everything's snappy as you can see i've got a number of apps open and even on the emulator nothing is slowing down which is pretty spectacular uh, but yes, that is a quick look at Windows 10 build 10,000, uh, Windows 10 Mobile, sorry, build 10,158. Thanks so much for watching, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.